Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about some pretty interesting and pretty major discoveries coming from within our own planet, within planet Earth. And considering the fact that nothing new has really been discovered about planet Earth, I guess I could say in the last few decades, this is a pretty big discovery and something that a lot of scientists are still having trouble to explain. And this recent discovery suggests that there is actually another part of our planet on the inside that we never really knew about. The core inside the planet seems to have another core on the inside. With the major implication being that the school textbooks might need to be rewritten because the structure of planet Earth is different from what we always believed. And that's on top of some of the other major discoveries from the last few months that I'm going to be briefly mentioning in this video as well. But first, well, how do we even know all of this? Well, to detect what's happening inside planet Earth, for generations now, scientists have used an extremely brilliant technique. They essentially listen to the propagation of different waves created by different earthquakes around the planet and try to compare the speed it took those waves to travel across the planet from various locations on planet Earth. And so this video from Incorporated Research Institutions for Seismology kind of shows you the brief animation of how all of this works. After the earthquake occurs, the waves travel in different locations on the planet, they generally also curve, and depending on the speed of arrival, the scientists can then calculate what exactly is happening inside the planet. And specifically, this also allows scientists to discover if there are certain regions inside the planet that are, for example, not really uniform, or if there are certain regions that are much bigger than others. And in the past, they've discovered some really cool things in there, but nobody really knows what's going on yet. And so one example here are these unusual blobs of matter that seem to be present in certain location inside our mantle. And these blobs are really really huge but nobody really knows what they're doing there and what exactly made them form as well. And there's actually quite a lot of them as you can see in this animation. And today they're known as LLSVPs or Large Low Shear Velocity Provinces. And considering that they represent about 6% of the volume of the planet, their creation story is one of the bigger mysteries right now. And as you'll probably learn from another video really soon, we might have actually solved their mystery once and for all. But I'm not going to spoil it here, although let's just say that it does involve a pretty interesting event and a pretty interesting object from the Earth's history. But I'll be talking about this in a few days when I release that video. For now though, that's just one of those discoveries made with the seismology detectors and by studying how the waves propagate in our planet. But this new discovery that was recently made was done by using data from a lot of different seismology detectors around the planet. And in this beautiful picture you can actually see how many of them there are already, with a tremendous amount being located in North America and in Europe. And then by combining all of this data and putting it all in a really really complex algorithm to try to see if they discover something new. Which can also be roughly visualized as this right here, with every line here representing various waves traveling across the planet when earthquakes occurred. And to their surprise, the actual detection and the actual mystery in a sense came from really really deep inside the planet. It came from the inner core. Now just a quick reminder, generally prior to this study what we believe the planet is made out of is the crust on top, which is the layer we're walking on right now, and the layer where all of the mountains are. This is usually a layer that's about 7 kilometers deep um, in the oceans and can be up to about 40 kilometers deep in the continental region, so this is the thinnest layer we have. Beneath that is the largest part by volume and that's the mantle and that's where we discover a lot of different minerals, a lot of different stuff including actually a hidden water deposit from some of the ancient water that used to be on the planet. So a lot of the water, if not most of the water, is present inside the mantle. And that's also where you find those mysterious blobs I mentioned previously. They're basically kind of at the bottom of the mantle, in some cases even touching the next layer which is the outer core. And this outer core, for the most part, is believed to be liquid, and it's believed to be liquid metal, specifically nickel and iron. And by churning around, by spinning around, and by moving across the planet, we believe this kind of generates the electric field, and thus produces the magnetosphere that our planet has. That's so far the best explanation we have for why the planet has the magnetosphere. But then, as all of this gets really squished and pressurized, all of this starts to become hardened and turns into a solid, and that's where the inner core comes in. And so previously we all believed that inner core was essentially this really really large chunk of metal, really hot, really pressurized metal. 
but the earthquake waves passing through this region seem to actually be deflected slightly differently depending on the location they pass through, as if the inner core contains two layers, and that's basically the major discovery from the study. And although previous detections did actually suggest there might be something unusual going on inside the inner core and there might be another region inside of it, this is the first time it was officially confirmed using the data from various seismic monitors on the planet. And to be more exact, what the scientists found is that one of these cores has the iron crystals oriented east to west, whereas the other part of the core has a lot of these crystals oriented north to south, which suggests that they crystallized or became solid during different times or during different eras of planet Earth, as if some major dramatic event early in the history of the planet caused one of these layers of the core to melt and then re-solidify again in different formation. Or in other words, what this suggests is that the core itself, the inner part of the planet, might have cooled down during two separate events. It had a first event when some parts cooled down, then something happened and everything got heated up again, and then it cooled down again, crystallizing in a slightly different formation. And although right now the best possible explanation is that maybe this was due to the same collision that created the moon approximately four and a half billion years ago, at this point nobody really knows what exactly happened to form this unusual layer on the inside. But that's just one of the major discoveries coming from the last few months ago. Another study actually reported something else really interesting that might relate to some of these discoveries as well. What the scientists discovered in this other paper released only a few weeks prior is in regards to how our planet cooled to begin with. They actually discovered a very interesting fact that suggests that the planet cooled down differently depending on what was on the surface, which kind of makes sense, I guess. So we know that oceans will also have much thinner crust underneath them. And because of this, they actually cool down much faster. The continents, on the other hand, have much thicker crust. And at the same time, because of the rocks on the surface here, all of this cools down much slower. And so the interesting discovery here was, first of all, that the planet was kind of cooling down by about 150 degrees every billion years. But the unusual discovery here is that the planet was cooling down much faster where there was water, suggesting that the Pacific region of the planet, where there's a huge Pacific Ocean, cooled down by roughly around 50 degrees more in the last 400 million years, with the side where Europe and Africa are present cooling down by essentially 50 degrees less. And because this would obviously cool down the mantle underneath much more, this could obviously provide some explanation to why there are these unusual chunks inside our planet. And these chunks, to some extent, could maybe explain why our planet seems to also contain different regions of the core that cool down differently as well. But at this point, all of this is just pure speculation, and for all we know, none of these events are connected at all. They could be all separate observations with their own separate explanations. At the moment, nobody really knows what's happening here. The scientists are only certain about the fact that the planet cooled down differently depending on what was on the surface. And in this case, it's really interesting to find out that the Pacific region cooled down so much more than the rest of the planet. We don't really know what effects this would produce yet, but it would definitely produce some kind of a cooler and possibly even less mobile part underneath this, thus create a planet with a slight asymmetry. Now that, by itself, could produce some unusual effects that we're observing elsewhere. But until further investigations and until follow-up studies, which will hopefully come in the next few months, there's really no clear answer for any of this just yet. These are still cool papers and cool discoveries, and it's interesting how all of this came very recently, but so far these are just observations, no explanations. So until we know what's going on here, and until someone can actually explain where all of this came from, let's just leave it at that. And so once there's an explanation, I'll make sure to follow this up with another video. But there's also going to be another video that will hopefully explain to you one of the best possible explanations for what these large chunks are, at least in my opinion. This will be coming in the next few days, so make sure to subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support the channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Either way, I'll see you tomorrow, stay wonderful, and as always, bye-bye.